Welcome to The Spider's Web. The Spider's Web is a podcast that weaves together humor and knowledge in bite-sized episodes. I'm joined every week by The Soul Vacation, and I'm Spider Theory. Let's get started. Yeah, so you know how Halloween's right around the corner? Yes. <laughs> it's like tomorrow, basically, because, you know, it's... <laughs> it's September 1st, I know. It, yeah, right. It's, it, we're in the middle of August, so it's basically Halloween. So I thought it would be appropriate to start talking about some spooky things. And the other day I was reading an article about Vlad the Impaler. I'm not familiar. Oh, well, good, great guess saying Dracula, because Vlad the Impaler is who a lot of people say vampires are based on. Vlad the Impaler was a prince of Romania. It wasn't Romania at the time, it was called Wallachia or Wallachia. I don't know. But um, he was very ruthless and he killed a lot of people and his main way of killing people was putting, like, putting them on spikes. But also he, I guess he resembled a vampire in many ways and up until recently they would talk about like superficial things like just the way he looked or acted he, and he was very violent but scientists took some of his writings i think they were either letters or diaries and they did some analysis on it was like sweat i think that was on it and some of the like skin and they were able to determine that he had a uh, very particular disease where he would cry blood creepy did you know that people can do that no but it's very um horny toad-esque interesting i forgot about horny toads and the fact that they do that yeah and it fits like halloween and honestly like you know how everybody does their makeup as like little deers for a while mm -hmm. is that the hot new thing it's gonna be blood oh blood tears tears possibly the disease is called hymola, hymolacria, hymolacria, mm -hmm. um, crying bloody tears. It's very rare and the tears can be tinged with a little bit of blood or just be like, it can have just a little bit of blood or a lot of blood. So it could look like pure blood that you're crying. And if you look up any pictures of it, it's quite alarming and it can happen for different reasons. It could happen because of infections um or an injury to the area in vlad the impaler's case he had this very specific disease i looked at pictures of it like you imagine it being like very cinematic like one bloody tear leaks out it looks like very irritated eyes with blood leaking out. yes it's like the eyes are completely red and irritated yeah. and then there's blood coming from the insides down it's like dripping out Based on the nature of the compounds uh, in Vlad the Impaler's uh, sample that they took, he had the disease we talked about, hemolacria. I think I'm saying that right, hopefully. Which means he shed tears that were mixed with blood. And so it, that aids to another indication that perhaps vampires were based on him. I know there are also reports that there are creatures out of India that are very vampire-like. I just don't know much about them to speak on them, but might be worth us looking into at some point. So can we talk about vampires for a second though? Mm -hmm. Tell me, do you have a favorite vampire? Oh, yes, um, yes. I can I answer immediately. Oh. Favorite vampire, Blade. Oh, I love Blade. Favorite superhero, Blade. Yeah. I forget about him. People are like, do you like superheroes? I'm like, no. And I'm like, yes, I love Blade. Is he a superhero? Like, is he part of superhero universe or is he just a superhero? I guess technically he is a superhero. Yeah, he is part of the Marvel universe and he is my favorite superhero, favorite vampire. Mm. Do you have a favorite vampire? Well, I'm really loving the uh, what we do in the shadows vampires right now. Hilarious. Because they're just like kind of fuck ups and down to earth and I like that vibe. Thank you all so much for listening to the Spider's Web podcast. If you'd like to follow us on TikTok, you can follow me at Spider Theory, or you can follow The Soul Vacation at The Soul Vacation. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time.